for cleaning the intake and the head gasket. <laughs> Power man. No. Second time. Customer can't supply power. It's pop. Kick my circuit breaker three times You're trying to burn up my air compressor. I need to get it going. I use a Teflon disc. I don't use on aluminum. You always use a Teflon disc on aluminum. You can use the uh, Rolox on them, but you better go softly. So, lighter is always better. You can take a clean off the top of the piston. Clean your carbon off of it. Your customer's house doesn't support one can. And what I always do is I take carb cleaner with the hose. And I'll take air and I'll spray around the rings just to get that carbon out of there. And I'll wipe it off. That helps clean up the piston, get the carbon out of it. Makes it look prettier. Teflon, you need to clean it off with carb cleaner to get the Teflon out of the material. A little bit. Lubrication on the walls, lubrication to help the rings. This motor set through some leather. So, 
gonna put like a little STP on the walls, lubricate them back up. You always wanna clean them down real good with some carb cleaner and then lube them back up real lightly with some lubricant. I've already done the other two walls, so. Feel anything out of the ordinary, now's the time to feel for it. But you should always check your cylinder walls down with a flashlight and at least look at them real good before you stick a head on. You'll wish you did. As you can see, my rag is kind of semi dirty. So I kind of cleaned my head up with that right prior to going and installing my head gasket. I'll wipe it down with a totally brand new rag. Make sure I got all the debris off of it. I do the head the same way. It's got to be clean. And there's that. Clean it down with a clean rag and you're ready to go. Put your head on.